North Korean soldiers are already in Russia and will begin military operations against Ukrainian troops in the coming days. This indicates that the North Korea is fully participating in the war with Ukraine, said the head of the Presidential Office of Ukraine, Andriy Yermak, in an interview with the Italian publication Corriere della Sera. He noted that he could not yet say how many people were involved and whether North Korean units could really change the course of the war. More detailed information was needed. However, according to Yermak, the North Korean military is completely changing the political scenario and meaning of the war caused by Russian aggression. De facto, we can say that North Korea is participating in this conflict. De jour, there was no official declaration of war from Pyongyang, but de facto, they joined the military aggression against our country, a conflict that has been going on for a decade. Yermak noted, he also stressed that it is not enough to simply stop the fighting. It is necessary to prevent further aggression, otherwise the Baltic and Balkan countries will be at risk if Ukraine doesn't stop the invasion. They will be next. Answering a question about the possibility of asking NATO to send troops, Yermak emphasized that the Ukrainians are fighting themselves, of course, with the help of our partners, but on their own, and are doing so quite effectively. At the same time, he noted Ukraine needs a sufficient amount of weapons and financial support because only a strong and militarily secure Ukraine will be ready for serious negotiations with Russia. Thousands of North Korean troops are preparing to back Russian ruler Vladimir Putin in his war against Ukraine. The new soldiers are reportedly from North Korea's Special Operations Forces, the country's most capable military unit, and are likely to be deployed to Russia's Kursk region to try to retake the territory. However, Western analysts can only speculate on how effective these forces are against the backdrop of Ukraine's capable army, writes Phillips Payson O'Brien, professor of strategic studies at the University of St. Andrews in Scotland, in an article for The Atlantic. Putin saw an opportunity to strengthen his hand in the war and took it, regardless of the Western backlash. He appears to be betting that the United States will not intervene directly. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin acknowledged that North Korea had joined Russia in the conflict, calling it a very serious problem. Since the start of the full-scale invasion, the United States has been hesitant to provide Ukraine with advanced weapons such as HIMARS, Abrams tanks, ATA CMS missiles, F-16 fighters and JASM long-range missiles. While these weapons were eventually provided, it was a waste of time that limited Ukraine's options. Moreover, the United States has never given a clear answer to the question of whether it would allow Western weapons to be used to strike Crimea, the Kirsch Bridge and other Russian targets outside of Ukraine. Firefighters in Peshawar on Sunday finally brought a fire under control that destroyed a factory, after battling the flames for more than 20 hours. According to local media, the fire broke out overnight due to a short circuit in the facility that produces tissues and diapers. The operation involved 20 vehicles and over 100 personnel from multiple districts. There were no reports of injuries or victims but locals said that more than 1,000 employees that make their living from the factory will be affected. Authorities said that an inquiry into the incident has been opened. The fire was fueled by chemical products used in the factory, local media reported. Chemicals, the 
ریسکیو موجود دے بندولی نشی پوش ڈیر زیاد کوشش پیو کو کور تا چانت اس نشت دے مر کیو آگا جانی نقصان پکی نیش روی خمالی نقصان پکی دیر زیاد تو شدیا دے تیمپرو دکپو دی بلکی لاتونو دا بوٹ تیمپرو تا او کرخانہ دا پوش نقصان پکی دیر زیاد تو شکو اور لگ انکانات ام نشت شیزا پس تریکی ما دے مر شید